In today's video, we're gonna to integrate tools with our crew and tooling can be very powerful. So today we're gonna to learn how to use Serper Dev for Google searching, and then use a scrape website tool to scrape the websites that Google search returns for us. And then we'll have AI summarize everything into a file. We're gonna go ahead and create another project just like we did the last two days. I wanna say crew AI create crew, and then we're gonna name it day underscore zero three. And then whenever it's done, it's gonna create all of the files and all of the agents and crew necessary for us. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the crew.py file. And this time we are gonna be using tools. So we can go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff, but we do need this from crew AI tools, Serper import, Serper dev tool. Now Serper dev tool is a tool that's gonna to help us do a Google search using Serper dev. And we'll go to the website and get our API key for this because that is necessary to use, but don't worry, it's free. The other tool that we will need is the scrape website tool. And this is what's going to help us go to each Google search website, scrape each of those sites, and then get the information from them so that we can then summarize everything together. Now, again, the amazing thing about using the CLI command to create a crew is most of it's already done. We're not going to have to change too much here. We already have two agents, one for the researcher and one for the reporting analyst. And then we have the task for each of those. And then our actual crew is already created. Now for the researcher, we're going to change a couple things here, but we have this tools property within the agent, right? We need to give this agent both of the tools needed to go do the Google search for a query and then scrape each of the websites it gets. So here we need to say the Serper dev tool, and then we also need to give it the scrape website tool. Then we can get rid of some of these comments, the extra stuff. And we want to keep the verbose to true. Now for the reporting analysts, it doesn't need any tools because they're all going to, already going to be done by this point. And then the tasks are going to stay the same because what I want to, what I do want to do is give it an output file. Now this is a different property that I do need to cover really quick is in the task for the second agent, we're going to have another property called output file. And this is going to save whatever it gets as the output into a report.markdown file. And then again, for the crew, this is all the same. We can get rid of some of these comments if you'd like to kind of clean it up a little bit. And now we can go into the actual configuration for the agents and the task. And this is in the config folder for agents and task YAML. So these YAML properties, we're going to do something a little different this time. We're actually going to give an input to these. And so what you can see that as is this topic with the curly braces. Okay, when we go to run this, you're going to see where this comes from. But just for now, this is going to be an input and this will change depending on whatever input we give this. So for the researcher, we're going to say this is a senior uh, news researcher. It's going to uncover cutting edge or uncover, let's say the latest news. So latest, the latest news in whatever topic. The backstory is you're a, a seasoned researcher. Actually, we can probably keep that. We don't need to change that too much. The reporting analyst, um, we can say news reporting analyst based on the topic. Create, and then the goal is to create detailed reports. Um, let's say, how about create, yeah, detailed reports on the topic with, uh, let's say, news analysis. How about that? So news analysis and research findings, okay? We don't, we can always come back to this if we don't necessarily like the output, which is a great thing, right? Once you do it once, you're like, mm, let me tweak the prompt for the agents a little bit. So we can come back and do that. So for the rest of this, um, this is kind of, uh, kind of like the system prompt and the personality of the agents. And so I'm gonna leave the rest of this here. Now let's go ahead and go to the task YAML file. This is going to be a little different. So we want to conduct a thorough research about whatever topic we're going to give this. Again, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then I also want to say the current, the current time is, and then we're going to pass in, we're going to pass in another variable here, which we will create. Let's do a conduct a thorough, let's conduct a, how about research or search news about the, whatever topic it is. And then this time the expected output for this is because we're doing a search, what this can give us is it can give us a snippet, it can give us the website link, and it can give us a title, a list of the list of news articles about topic with the title, URL and snippet. Okay, and again, we're gonna tie this to the researcher agent. 
And then we're for the reporting task, the description is review the context you got and let's see, explain, expand each topic. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just delete that. Just say review the context. Now fully fledged reports with the main topics. Let's how about instead, um, actually we can say fully, fully, a fully fledged reporting of the news articles. Okay, and as we do want this formatted as markdown, and this will be tied to the reporting analyst agent. Okay, so now we have the configurations done, we have the crew created, and I know I kind of just kind of went over the tools really quick, but we're gonna get into the Serper Dev tool. But all the scrape website tool is doing is going into a specific website. So for each website that the Serper Dev tool gets from the Google search, it's gonna go into each of those and then get the summary of each of those for us. Now the Serper Dev tool, we will need API key like I mentioned. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we need to go to serper.dev. And whenever you get here, you might not already be logged in if you have never created an account for this before, but go ahead and sign up. It's free. You're gonna have plenty of requests to use from this, so don't worry about it. And whenever you sign in, here's your dashboard. I'll just go explain this really quick. So here's the playground. And what you can do with Serper Dev is do Google searches, right? So you can just do search, regular search, images, videos, places, maps, etc. And what the basic Serper Dev tool with Crew AI is doing is just doing a search. You, we're going to input a query or a topic. It's going to give us back by default 10 results. That's all we care about. And the results are going to look something like this. We're, it, what it actually does is it takes this organic list, this, this array here, or sorry, list because we're in Python, and it's going to go through all of this and then return these for us, return this information for us. Okay, and that's all this is doing, right? So if I did this, click the search here, that's the same thing that the tool is going to be doing, but the AI is going to handle the input query right here for Apple Inc. because we're going to give it the topic. And so then if we go to the API key, this is what we need here. So you can just copy this, and we just copy this, come back to cursor, go to your .env environment at the top level of your project, and then just paste that in here, serper underscore API key, and we're good to go. And then we need to go back to the main Python file. You can clean up some of this stuff like the testing folder. Like we don't need some of these things for this. We don't need the custom tooling either. So you can just kind of get rid of some things here. But in the main Python file, we also don't need some of these other functions. So we can go ahead and get rid of those. And then we're going to call the run function. And now we're just about ready to go. Now remember, uh, again, we don't need this did say day three dot crew, just get rid of that. You only need, you only need to say from crew import day three crew. And then if we actually come here, we don't need these parentheses either. So now back to the main Python file, this, this is the difference here. When in this run, we're saying day through day three crew dot crew as if this is a function dot kickoff, but this time we're giving inputs and this input is a dictionary. So we have the topic and then the value assigned to that. So instead, how about we search for, let's just, let's just search for open AI. Now this topic here, this is what's in the agent's YAML file. This is the topic that we want to give it. Okay. So it's going to then say the role is open AI senior news researcher. And it's going to, in the Serper dev tool, when it goes to do a Google search, it's going to use this as the topic. Now in the task, in the task um, property, we did have another, we had a date uh, value that we want to add here. So if we go back to main, all you have to do here for the inputs is just comma. And you can say date and then date time dot now, but we need to, uh, we need to import that as well. And that's, and that's it. We're good to go. The thing about this is if you don't give it a time or a year or something, it's going to do exactly one year from now. So it'll say October, 2023 and try and find news from there. But we obviously we want updated news, but this, this should work. If it doesn't, we'll fix it. But this should be good to go. So let me bring up my terminal. Then we can just say Python and then main.py and run this. Now we already have our open API key here in our .env file from the first project for day one, or like we did in day two, where we had local open source LLMs with Olama, you can add those here. Just make sure you have one that can run tools. Not every AI can run these tools. So you'll need one model, maybe like a Mistral model or something that can work well here, but not every model will. So just be careful of that. 
Okay, so it finally started, and the first agent, it's, you know, it's the senior news researcher for OpenAI. And we just want to make sure that the current time is uh, today. I'm doing this October 7th. So it goes through kind of the thought process and the tool input, right? So the tool input is a search query for OpenAI News October 2024. And so this tool input is what's used for the Serper dev tool. And the output is we have the search results. So we have the title the link and the snippet, and there's 10 of them, right? So these are going to be, it's not necessarily today's or yesterday's news, but it's around this time. And then if we scroll down, we have again, you know, okay, so this is, this is the final answer from um, the news researcher. So it has the title, and then this is marked down. So this is actually the link, if you just click on the title, okay, so that's the final answer from the first agent. And then the next agent, which is the news reporting analyst says, review the context you got, make sure the report is detailed and contains any and all relevant information. So now it basically has markdown of, you know, we can have the prompt give us like some better detail, but this just kind of put everything together and then gave us um, a summary of what it thought about all, uh, all of these titles and snippets of information you got. And I do I do see that the final answer was only eight. That probably means that two of the websites either weren't valid or it wasn't able to access the information inside of that. But that's okay, right? That, that's okay. And then the last thing is, remember, the output file was to be in a report markdown file. So on the left-hand side here, we have that. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and minimize this. And we have the markdown now. I have an extension that where I can preview this markdown. So when we go to preview this, I mean, here it is. Here's kind of the title for the whole report. It has an overview, and then it has like different sections that it summarized for us. Now we can modify the prompt to make kind of maybe make this look a little bit better and make sure it gives us all the links necessary. But I mean, this is amazing, right? We used two different tools. To do Google search, it actually got relevant websites recently and then gave us the title and a snippet from each of those and then summarize those into a markdown file for us. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, tooling is really powerful, but what's even more powerful is to be able to create your own custom tools. So in tomorrow's video for day four of this series, we're gonna create our own Serper dev tool using custom parameters. And it's gonna be a little bit more deliberate in what we wanna search for. In the meantime, here are some more videos. The rest of the videos are in the link in the description below. I will see you next one.